Plymouth and Brockton bus service to Boston has been temporarily suspended as authorities have the city in a pretty much complete lockdown as they search in a wide manhunt for the Boston bombing suspect. Folks at the Hannes Transportation Center could do nothing but wait it out. Where are you from? Where are you going? Uh, my name is Isabel. I'm from Framingham. I'm trying to go back there, but I can't. <laughs> So what do you think about being displaced? There's a manhunt in Boston. Is it scary? Yeah, it's scary and it's kind of sad. Now you have to be somewhere tomorrow. Tell us about that. Yeah, I gotta go. Actually, tonight I'm supposed to work tonight, and I, I don't think I'll be able to make it. So what do you think your plans are gonna be now that there's no transportation for the time being? I'll just stay here and wait till, you know, things get better. Janice Smith. Janice, and where were you supposed to go? Go home to Brockton. Now, who do you have here with you? I have my, my nine-year-old son, Devin, who's autistic. Now, how is this shutdown of service affecting you? Is it scary? What are you thinking? I, I'm scared because I can't get home to my house. To get home to my son, I have no one to take me home. And what were you doing on the Cape? Um, I was spending, um, I, I was at the Irish Village with my son, and I was spending time with him and my boyfriend. And not being able to be home, how does that affect you today? It's better because I can't have nowhere to go with, with him. And it's hard to keep him occupied and quiet. So what would happen if you were stuck on the Cape for a couple hours? He'll go, he'll go insane. 